YouTube, what is up with y'all today? Snail, good fella, good fella, nail. Finally got this joint on the charger. Yes, yes. It needed it. It needed it. Nah, I'm being goofy, y'all. But I got a new kick today, man. And that is the Nike Sock Dart and Cargo Khaki Black. And I don't know what the other word is. It's a rattan, rattan. So, uh, don't worry about trying to see this box too much. But yeah. And these are the kicks right here. The kick, I should say. And uh, yep, crazy, crazy. I actually stuffed them back, um, so you can actually see how how it would look with the foot on the inside. They usually don't do this shoe too much justice, unless you know about the Nike Sock Dart, but like as me being a first time buyer of the Nike Sock Dart, uh, always wanted them. I thought they was probably, always thought they was kind of clean or whatever, but I never really too much see anybody like wearing them, wearing them all like that. Um, you know, everybody all Yeezy and Jordan crazy right now and all that. And I guess that's okay, but just as far for the sake of the other kicks, trying out different kicks, this is what you can expect. So, uh, yeah, when you do wear the shoe, it will look like this or probably a little bit more, you know, more upwards to like fit to your foot. I didn't know this part was completely sock. So, yeah, but it was a good thing, too, though. Obviously, I knew sock dart, blah, 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 sock, you know, but they really meant it. Um, these joints are clean. This is my first olive green shoe. I wanted an olive green shoe for the past few months, really. And i just been trying to put my finger on which one. And then sometime when I try to come back, they probably been sold out or they got a size left that I don't really fit. So like a Vans, uh, what was this, a Vans Skate High? That was a nice one. The burgundy one and the olive green. Because everybody was really doing the fall and winter colorways late last year. That's one of the things I really do like. I do like olive green and uh, burgundy. So yeah. So like damn near every shoe, even like Reebok Classics even had olive green and all that. But so I'm happy I made my choice with these. Uh, I took a, a bit the bullet on the new shoe that I never had before and I end up liking them a lot, a lot. I like these just about as much as I like the uh, those purple and black and white Hirachis I showed y'all earlier. Was it last month or something? So it got that kind of like comfort and it's just crazy, man, crazy the air press those clean too like all those running shoes that's like made to like fit the foot or whatever you know clean crazy fly man i mean but y'all probably already seen a bunch of reviews and seen all that before but let me get into mines right here you know i don't i ain't got no my b-roll game is trash right now you know what i mean i gotta put that i gotta set aside some real time to get y'all some real real footage but I'm, I'm I'm thankful for everybody that's that still come in, check on Goodfella nail videos, even if I don't push it up for like, you know, some time or whatever. I try to at least at worst at worst drop one video a week, but you know, I I try to at least stay on my little two minimum two videos minimum, but you know, so y'all know that I'm still here or whatever. But I don't know, man. It'd be the changes, the moves. Oh, and th shout out to the new subscribers too, man. My little subscriber count jump, man. Thank you, thank you, man. So yeah, if y'all came here now i do like some hype some kicks that's hype jordans or whatever i do like a few of those but for the most part most of my channel is predominantly a bunch of stuff that i like so it's no knock to anybody else but before i get into the shoe it's no knock to anybody else you know when you see you when y'all look at y'all feed and y'all see all these other people reviewing the same shoe or whatever no knock to them guys i know they're doing whatever they got to do because they being asked to, to watch all that you know to review all that but when you come here it's going to be something completely different, like a whole fresh air, you know what I mean? And it might be for sale or a deal or whatever. Now, these for sure I know is sold out. I went back to check, man. I guess people got put on. Nothing don't too much last too long on Nike.com if it's for a deal, uh, especially if it's something that's form fit into the foot and all that. So, yeah, crazy. But jumping off into the review on this, I was definitely blown away by the sock. The sock just really make you feel like you really wearing a sock really make you feel like you at home the only part to start feeling like a shoe somewhat is at the bottom obviously um but these right here definitely massage my foot and like arches or whatever i got a size 10 size 10 was cool for me i probably can pull a size uh nine for like a more snug snug fit but really 
with this actually hugging my foot like a saga really wasn't a big deal now one of the things that did throw me off a little bit when it came to picking this particular colorway out they didn't say size 10 size 9 or size 11 separately um it was like one of those things where it was like size 10 all the way up to size 11 and a half so like damn near if you wear a side they they were saying as if they made it look as if like hey if you wear an 11 and a half you can actually wear a size 10 or something like that now the shoe doesn't really fit big or anything but it was just like damn what if i really was like what if i was a size 12 and i was trying to go for a snug fit 11 and a half or something like that but once i got the box here i end up getting a size 10 it say size 10 on the box so that's it's a win for me anyway but uh yeah going to the inside you got more of that old throwback nike crimson orange kind of like colorway I like that about Nike. They damn near should have patented all that for all that orange, man. All that orange that they had like in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, probably even some somewhat of the late 90s. But I know definitely from all the way like in the all the 2000s they had all the way up just like orange boxes. Even to this day they still do, but not as much. Usually they roll with these boxes right here, the red joints, but on a few of my other ones that I already like few of my kicks already reviewed, you know, you still got that classic orange so you see what I'm saying? Like that classic orange Nike box. So I definitely thought about that. So when I see orange now a lot, I always think about Nike. And yeah. But going to the bottom, you also got the pods and all that other stuff. Uh, traction on this joint. It's cool. It's cool. I think this was meant to be a running shoe, obviously, to help people run better. Uh, I can see why that is. Um, I never really like ran a lap in these joints, but I did do some jogging in them. Um, not, perf you know jogging from one end to one build one side of the building to another end not not constant jogging you know what i mean I, i'm quite sure these are still hold up but the only fear that i do have about these kicks is like if something actually get caught right here on the sock i could it would just look terrible if a hole just get through here or something like that um and mess up the threading or something like that where like some kind of hook just pull it um that's just my only peeve about this i want to get the fleece joints as well because soon as the wind blow um, you can actually feel it on your foot when you just get the basic sock model like this. Um, now, these joints right here, I end up copping for 55, 56. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my little Nike haul pickup is basically kicks that was like for sale for like 55, 52, something like that. So, it's definitely worth it. Considering the regular price for these regular price for these is probably like 130 or something like that uh the on foot so on the internet definitely does the shoe some justice as well now particular colorways i would just say look at a nike sock dart in general because obviously most of them fit the same and then you know you got that more of that stretch look like that so it won't look all like bacon i hate when they make shoes look like bacon toe man look that's a bacon toe where they look like that and it's look like a little curved piece of shrimp you know what i mean that shit look ugly that doesn't make me want to buy the shoe what makes me want to buy the shoe is when it look more form-fitting but that's me though personally and it looks like that like how it will look on your foot you know what i mean like that runners kind of like press you know so um i'm telling you man i could i could probably go a month straight just wearing these kind of kicks like that's how comfortable they are almost almost had a slight foot ache when I switch from these to my Patrick Ewans and back or something like that, because that whole comfort difference and all that. So if you a sneaker person, I really wouldn't try to show off uh, trying to wear more than one, more than two kicks or more than one kick really in a, in a day. You go from something with, that's like a massive comfort level like this to something like, you know, a little bit more like a bulky shoe or whatever. It could be a Jordan 8, it could be a Patrick Ewan. That's a complete difference uh, on your foot. And, and all that stuff man so i learned that the hard way probably like three times in my life you know what i mean but anyway though i do like this cargo khaki right here this cargo they call this rat tan um it kind of gives me like an olive bomber kind of like feel you know what i mean like with the whole olive green and then you got like this uh this this desert storm sand beige along the mid sole with little sprinkles of uh, a, a war dirt all on it man i'm all off i said war dirt <laughs> speckles of black paint you know little chocolate chips you know almost kind of like how that oreo speckles is something like that but yeah uh, just get y'all a close look at that so yeah 
that definitely make the shoe it turns it up a little bit more um i actually like the little uh hints on there but even without the little speckles i still would have copped also going on this side you got more of a like of a of a, a powdery kind of like translucent nike swoosh same over here as well and then this right here reminds me of like the visor from like the football players you know the sun being their eyes so they wear it over their helmet but this kind of like that because it's like all shiny and stuff now uh i kept mine actually snapped in just like this i don't run around with this it'll look super tacky to run around with the with this flopping everywhere um but this is a good way to actually adjust the the the, the snugness on your foot so this is something different one of the things i do like about this shoe is that you can actually when you do wear pants it does look nice when it's actually like over the shoe when you're wearing jeans and uh yeah crazy classic fly i actually wore these with my I would just wore a, like mostly all black that day and then like maybe an olive green you know, or, or you know a pop of red you know what I mean like I'll probably get into the fits later as far as when it comes to these kicks but definitely not something too hard to like wear with uh, your favorite outfit also going to the top right here you also got that pool somewhat of a pool tab right here and you have that nice classic olive green swoosh going to the back you got that usb looking port but really it's just a nike swoosh in disguise and you also have this i guess i guess this is for like to balance out achilles heel or something like that but back here it just feel like fleece man like you know it doesn't even feel like sock it's just like fleece so like a sweater somewhat it's just very thin and stuff like that it's easy to you know but this this shoe rate this sneaker rating i definitely want more of these it's between these and the harachis the harach is these oh man i don't know the harachis and these is like neck and neck as far as nike with me now um the harachis these and then the air prestos like definitely some kicks i want to cop more of this year i've been looking at different colorways i definitely underestimate the comfort of this shoe so don't be surprised y'all see the fleece one next i want to get the purple joint too so rate comment and subscribe this was a long ass review man my bad y'all but um rate comment and subscribe uh shout out to everybody that's been subscribing finally made it like i'm almost coming in on 550 so y'all keep watching keep liking everything like that and i'm gonna keep doing what i do peace